Praise the Lord, this prophet is Kimberly Hargraves. I want to give you a quick prophetic no-no. Now, I was on Periscope, and since I sow in prophecy, I reap in prophecy. So, I always ask God for confirmation. So, every time I get on somebody's scope, somebody wants to always call me out and give me a word. What on this prophet's scope? Um, and he wanted to add on what God was saying. The word was good. The word was accurate. But then he put himself up in there. And I'm like, no. So, it just kind of turned me off because I'm like, God didn't say that. Because I didn't say that. So this is what he said. He said that I said that I want to find a real prophet to connect to. I never said that. But he said, you're asking God to connect with a real prophet and I'm that prophet. I, I, I never said that. So therefore, it turned me off. So prophets, just give what God gives you. Don't try to add anything to it. Don't add, because that's when your flesh gets in there. And then that's when the word, uh, it has less effect. Now, who just gave the word? You know, I would be like, okay, yeah, okay. Praise God. And then I probably would want to connect with him. But he wanted to put himself up in there. So this kind of turned me off. So prophetic no-no is don't add any extra thing to the word that you hear God giving you. Just Give what you hear Holy Spirit saying. And as you step out on faith, and as you say what God told you to say, then he'll add more to it. Amen? Because it's just like a trickling effect. You know, once, sometimes God will give me one word. And I don't know what I'm going to say. But he'll drop it in my mouth, literally. Amen? Underneath that prophetic anointing. He'll just drop it, and he'll speak through me. I don't know what's going to come out my mouth. But I don't ever put myself in it. You know, because guess what? When I when I, people look at me, I want them to see Jesus. I don't want them to see Kimberly. Amen. I want them to know that they came in encounter with God. Amen. I don't try to put myself in it at all. So prophets, you know, don't boast yourself up. Don't add to the prophetic word. You know, I know sometimes it gets tricky, especially seers, when you see things, when you see visions, you know, and then it's your job to describe what you see, you know, and try to interpret it. But you know what I do for prophetic accuracy? I just tell the person what I see and leave it like that, you know, because sometimes when you are trying to interpret what you see, the person, they might not understand. So just tell them what you see. Because when you have a vision, it could be symbolic of something else. Amen. It might not be that exact thing. Oh my God, I, I can go on and on and on and on about this. Amen. So then you start getting in trouble when you try to put your own interpretation on that vision. No. Just describe the vision, what you see. For example, you could see a beach, somebody in a yellow sundress. Might not make sense to you, but on the person on the receiving end, it makes sense. So if you want to interpret that vision, like, oh, God's getting ready to give you a vacation, and that, then you start going astray and start messing up. Just tell the person, I see a beach in a yellow sundress. Like, oh, yeah, you know, I had a dream about that. Or, oh, yeah, um, that's a picture in my room or something. It makes sense to them, but it might, it's not going to make sense to you. It's going to make sense to the person on the receiving end. All right, so I pray that these prophetic tips help you out in your walk so you can be, become more accurate. Amen. And remember, it's not about you. Less of you and more Holy Spirit. Amen. So don't ever, 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 ever put yourself in that prophetic word when you prophesy it. That's a prophetic no-no. It, it, come, it, it comes off the wrong way. All right, y'all be blessed. God bless.